Hey guys, it's early in the morning, so I'm going to be talking kind of quietly in this one. Uh, showing you my bench press workout here. Uh, showing you my first warm up set, so that'd be 185. Just for, I don't even remember how many just random back reps. Um, and then today we're doing a bit more higher reps. So 235 for sets of 8. We've got about 4 sets. Uh, trying to do all the reps perfect form, everything like that. Uh, don't really want too many grinders. You want to be able to hit all the sets with all your reps. Um, so yep, first set of eight, and then uh, I think I do about maybe like two minute rests usually. So not too long, not too short. You don't want to make sure you're waiting too long, but you want to make sure you've waited long enough that you feel that you're able to perform the next set comfortably. Um, so it's different for everyone. Two. One thing I've been learning recently too is how to use leg drive a little bit better. I find I can only really use that on uh, really heavy weights. I find when I'm repping, I can't really use it. As you can tell, my legs aren't really moving at all. But when I do like a set of three or four or five, I can usually use the leg drive a lot better. I'm not too sure why. What? Yeah. Since I don't. Since I have to go at such random times now, early mornings, late nights, I don't have a gym partner anymore either. Um, so that's another reason to not really risk going to failure. Uh, or a lot of people probably go to the gym and chest day. You know, you can still get great results um, not training to failure every single time, especially when it comes to strength training. When it comes to bodybuilding training, if you're doing more of that style, failure is probably pretty important. But failure as in, like, all your f reps with clean form, not necessarily getting forced reps or anything like that, which is a really good way to grow as well. But, uh, oh yeah, we jumped it off at the last set here. Uh, Spoto presses. You're supposed to pause uh, a couple inches off your chest. Um, I should have paused longer, but I just kind of wanted to rep them out. And to get rid of any stick point training, so you kind of pause where you're weak, and then you press up. So it's just a few inches off the chest, and it gets rid of the momentum. Um, and then we jumped it off with incline barbell press, uh, keep it at high reps, 185, usually I don't do so many reps on the flat bench, so I'm a bit more tired than usual, um, but I just want to get good form and high reps on the incline, I basically just want a thicker incline chest, I'm not even that worried about the strength that much, it'll just come over time by doing high reps, um, so I did, or I did two sets of 185, I got 11 on the first one, and 9 on the second one, which equals 20 reps, and then my final set, I went really light and then just put uh, 45 and 10 on each side and did a couple pause reps and then a couple tap and goes just to finish out the end of the chest. Since I was only doing three sets, I wanted to make it a bit more challenging because usually I do high sets. So yeah, that was that. So this is the set. I apologize about this poor commentary. It's just... I'm really tired. It's 6.30 in the morning, haven't went to bed yet, came up uh, work at 4 a.m. Um, so I'm just trying to get this video up for now, so sorry about that, but I have a few good ideas coming up for the next couple videos. It's just hard to keep keep them coming out on such a consistent basis, but I'm going to try my best to keep coming. So we finished off that set. It's a random little thing. I threw one clip of um, Dumbbell Flies, I actually did three sets, I just filmed one because they're kind of boring to watch. But just so you kind of get the idea of what I do for my normal workout. I still want to get a big chest. I know I'm doing a lot more strength-based training, but you really got to hit your flies. Sometimes it's nice to isolate the packs even for strength. So that's what I did here. I think three sets with the 40-pound dumbbells for sets of uh, 8 to like 12, I think, something like that. I always keep them pretty high reps. There's no point in going really heavy on those. You already go heavy enough on your pressing movements. Um, Although some days I will go up to like the 60s or or higher even sometimes just to do like a lower rep set just for fun. But just make sure your form doesn't crack when you do that. And then we jump. Then we top it off with dips at the end. And the reason I do dips at the end is because you work your chest, it gets really weak and sore. Um, and then you want when I'm able to translate into triceps, I'll do dips because it works your triceps a bit harder than the normal pressing movements you would do in my opinion because it's kind of half half triceps, half chest. Um, so yeah, I do it to finish off my chest, but it also starts warming up my elbow joint. 
so that when I start isolating my triceps after the chest workout, this is the best way to warm up the joint and kind of add hypertrophy to the triceps as well. It kind of tires them out so I don't have to go as heavy on my skill pressures and stuff like that. Cause those type of movements are really hard on the elbow joint for me. Uh, even when I don't go really heavy on them, for some reason it hurts my elbow joint. Even if I can get like 15 reps of it, I'm not too sure why. I try to keep the form as perfect as I can, which I'm about to show you here. So tricep dips, I mean, wow, well, tricep dips, uh, skull crushers, keeping that form perfect. So keeping the elbows back, don't keep them too straight. You don't want them straight but are in a line perfectly to the ceiling. Uh, puts a lot of stress on the tendon area. So that was a warm up set with the 25s on there, so I can do the 35s. Keep in mind this is really late in the workout, after a high rep workout. So they're pretty dead as it is, but as you can tell, even though I'm tired and I'm doing a decent amount of weight, um, I don't let the form slip whatsoever on these type of movements. Not too sure why my arm genetics are just weird, they just, the form and everything is so easy compared to like a big movement like squats or deadlifts. And so another set of 35, so quite a bit less reps on this one, but still, even though it's heavy, still moving perfect form, you don't let it slip. That's what it's all about. And I think I did one. Yep, one light set, just to pump up the rest of the reps. When it comes to this, your triceps already hit the weight, they already hit everything. Now I'm just trying to get blood in there. I am trying to work the muscle too, but... This is just kind of like an extra increase, I guess. For some reason, my res my arms respond extremely well to isolation movements I've noticed from in the past. Probably my best genetic, so I don't really work them on their own day anymore because I want my chest and back thickness to kind of catch up. Yeah, uh, same with my shoulders and calves. So I don't want my arms to be overpowered. But I do try to throw them in at the end. Biceps on back day triceps on chest day because it just goes hand in hand. And finish I think the last exercise here, so I did roll push downs. Pretty obvious thing to do. Um, so I'll just let the footage speak for itself for this part. Now topping it off with the last set, uh, I did a couple sets of this, I just recorded a quick clip to show you guys, but I do underhand grip just to get a different type of variation on the triceps since I don't get to do too many things. All those pressing movements are already doing overhand grip, so I kind of like to switch it up. But I do that, and then I superset it with tricep kickbacks with a dumbbell. As you can tell, I go to pretty crazy failure on these type of movements, just because it's cable, it's kind of like, why not? doesn't feel like you're going to get enough burn if you stop before failure on something like this. The things you don't want to really feel crazy failure on is like deadlift, squat, bench. Um, so yep, so now we're doing one hand at a time, dumbbell kickback, high reps, 15 reps, something like that. Um, completely finishing them off, just getting every little inch of energy left in them. And that's the end of the workout. Bye.